Today, I am pleased to share with you an exclusive first look at some information on the new upcoming DJI goggles. Now, we don't know what they're called, we don't know when they're going to be released, but what we do know is that there are people testing these right now, and someone has very kindly shared with us a few hints on what to expect. Now, in this video, I'm going to walk you through a quick artist's impression of what we've been told. This information has been very kindly provided to us by the guys at the FPV WTF team. They are frankly astonishing and they've been able to share with us some hints from someone who is out there testing these right now. Now you might be thinking at this point, is he taking the mickey? But I promise you I am not. This is the artist's impression we have and those googly eyes are there for a reason which I'll explain in a minute. Now the information we have is that these new goggles will be a similar shape and size to the goggles too, a very similar design but with some external changes. They are going to feature DJI 04 and they're going to work with this new upcoming DJI drone but there is no information with regards to backwards compatibility at this time with 03 or if there's going to be an 04 ear unit. These goggles will feature stereo front facing cameras which is going to allow you to have visual pass through. This means you're not going to need to lift the goggles up to be able to see around your local environment. Instead, you should be able to just look through the screens and see what's going on around you. We have no idea if the DJI intend to do any form of AR on this or anything else. All we know is that DJI are fitting the cameras on the front of the goggles and that's why you're seeing those eyes there. These goggles will also feature a new low power local RF feature which will allow them to communicate with devices such as the DJI Remote. In the past, the way the DJI Remote has worked is that it is actually communicated with the ear unit and the goggles on the same link as, say, the video. However, these new ones seem to have a new low power link that is going to allow for some new communication. We don't know how DJI intends to use this or what it's going to work with and how it will end up working with their products moving forward. Now I am really excited about having these front facing cameras to give you a view of what's going on around you. The reason DJI need to put two on the front is to give you stereo depth perception, that way you're going to be able to have a feeling of where objects are. As I've said, we have no idea how DJI are going to leverage this in their products moving forward, but I think this is a major feature for the DJI goggles and I'm looking forward to seeing how this actually ends up working. We have no idea about future features like AR and other stuff. DJI isn't big in that world, but I can absolutely see a situation where DJI could say, allow you to see what's going on around you and then park your FPV image at some point on the display, maybe up in the air or something like that. That way you'd still be able to fly by looking up, but then look down around you if you were to hear a noise. Again, we have no idea how it will work, but it is a feature I have always wanted and I'm really excited about it. Now, right now, that is all the information we have. It is pretty much early day still at this point. We've seen no leaks out of China yet. We've seen no images of them in people's hands. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what they actually look like compared to this artist's impression in the future when that actually does happen. Now, time-wise, we don't know when these are going to release, but my personal feeling is probably end of January to March time next year. It doesn't feel like we're there quite yet, and it's unlikely we're going to see them this side of Christmas. DJI tends to do stuff like they're doing right now, which is sales two to three months in advance. You've got the Goggles 2 on sale, the Goggles Integra on sale, as well as the Avata right now, and that hints that these new products are probably going to be coming coming early next year. DJI don't usually deliver stuff much before the third or fourth week of January. February would probably be around the time we're going to see it. Again, I just want to be clear, this video is not a joke. That is the artist impression that we have. And whilst there isn't a lot of information, we do know the ZV-902s are in progress. We do know that they are going to be coming in the future. And I'll be talking about it a bit more once we have more information.
Anyway, I'm really interested in knowing what you think. Let me know in the comment section. A massive thank you to the guys over at the WTF team for sharing this. If you don't know who they are, they are the guys that brought us the hacks for the DJI FPV goggles version 1 and 2. There will be a link to their page in the description and also a link there where you can support them as well. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.